Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Infinifactory. Factory. It has been a while, hasn't it? It really has. It has been about five to six months since we started this series and we are back because I took a break in the middle of this game. I didn't realize there was actually two halves to this game. So for those of you um, that are new to Infinifactory, Factory, it is a sort of puzzle solving game involving blocks and assembling these blocks together. It'll all make sense in a moment. And, uh, and yeah, we took a break halfway through because we completed the Overlord campaign and I had my fair share of puzzles done. I uh, felt like having a little bit of a break. I thought the game was coming to an end and then I found out that there was more. There is the Resistance campaign. So we're back. We're going to try our best at doing this and I am looking forward to it. Do just want to say, as always, if you enjoy these videos, leave a like. The support is always appreciated. Uh, this time around, though, there's no sort of like likes for extra episodes the next day or anything like that because... I have no idea at what rate I'm going to be putting these videos out. Anyway, I've been playing the first puzzle just to kind of refresh my memory, but we're not going to go into that because I kind of got to the point where I realized what it is that we need to do. And I want to show you all the sort of process that I went through to figure out these things. Do we have a little bit of dialogue here? Let's talk to Dave, our resistance friend. Hi. Here it is, the teleporter, for lack of a better term. This thing. You send an object in one side and it drops out the other. If the object is attached to something, it will automatically be detached as it goes through. Okay, that's important. It's straightforward. Technically, don't ask. Okay, so the important thing there is that it will break anything that comes through it. And uh, just having a look around here for some Easter eggs, anything like that, I should probably explore the other side as well. Let's hop on through. You can now see we're at the other place, and the way it transitions is kind of crazy. Uh, let's just do that again. The sky changes colour a little bit. I like that. It almost feels like you haven't moved at all. Anyway, um, so this is where the items come through. I'm going to talk about this like some of you are new to this game. We have to get these items through to that thing over there. And I've just teleported, by the way. Bam, and now we teleport it back. And the way that we do that is using these selections of, uh, of blocks over here. We've got a new one, which we didn't have before. You can see I've selected a lot of stuff down below. And what we'll do is start off with some conveyor belts that take the blocks all the way over here. Now what is sussed out is that you want to use the lifter to send the block upwards. Then we need to build a tower so that we can um, have some blocks up the top here. That is not the up button. That is the rotate. Uh, why am I struggling to remember what key goes up? Spacebar. Oh my god. I was literally doing that a moment ago and then I sort of forgot. Okay. Uh, I am very bad at picking up controls. You need to know that. So anyway, there's this upside down conveyor belt. And we've gone too high. There is the perfect place to put it. Um, so that's initially what I thought was going to work. I set these things out and then I found out that... Oh, wait a minute. The one at the end falls off. So what you need to do... I think is either put a conveyor over here or maybe we can get away with putting a block like that because these three are actually joined together if you look at the way it goes up here they're all joined and uh, and then they get sent through cool that worked um, so when they come out on the other side they're gonna be separate now I played around with welding these together and I thought that it didn't work, it didn't weld them together, but I've just realised that I did that on the opposite side. So I spent quite a lot of time trying to solve this puzzle, and uh, I thought I'd sort of sussed it out in my mind, which is why I wanted to start recording. But now I realise that actually probably the first thing I tried was the correct thing. We just needed to do it on this side over here. So um, we want two blocks to get caught up, I think, and we want to weld them. Then when the third one comes through, they'll get welded together but they'll get pushed onto this and it will get sent along its way. So let's start this. Let's also speed it up. There are items come through and now it's all joined together. That was the correct way to do it. Awesome, because the other solution I had would have been terrible because it didn't involve joining them together because I didn't realize when I was playing this a moment ago that that, would, um, that thing there separates the blocks. I just thought they couldn't be joined together. So good to know, right? And that means we can do this and move on to the next level. So some people have found a very sneaky way of doing it um, even easier. Uh, with even less of a cycle score. I just had an idea. Let's play that again. If we were to just hop through here, um, I was going to say, actually, yeah, do we really need to have all of these extra blocks? What if we had the lifter here 
go straight onto the lifter. Um, we don't need those, so it's not a terrible amount compacted, I guess you could say. Oh, no, I don't want to place those there. That will increase my block score. So that might... Um, no, it's going to... I wish I hadn't have done this now. Ah, it kind of works. <laughs> no, it was a bad idea, wasn't it? Okay, never mind. Right, so let's uh, let's go exit to the barracks. <laughs> Don't know what I was thinking there. And it looks like now we have unlocked the teleporter. Okay, I think that's probably one you don't get to place down yourself, but maybe. And we've got the inverted conveyor. That's one that we can use. Awesome. So now we've unlocked another puzzle. This is teleporter experiment numero two. And let's do this. Let's jump right in. So we're going to speak to Dave again. Tell us what's up, Dave. Sorry to put you in such a remote location. We just want to make sure that there aren't any incidents. Mia wasn't exactly comfortable with doing it in the hangar after my last experiment, so we're being cautious and putting some distance between you and us. Nothing personal. <laughs> we like you. Sure, sure. But you're sending me all the way out here to do some dodgy experiments. Alright, so... It looks like it's the same challenge as before. Send the blocks through here and then disassemble them, or sorry, reassemble them on this side. Um, thing is, they come through as a structure. Oh, wait a minute, that's where they're going. This is where they're coming from. So they're going to come through as a big structure, which means our way for sending it through here could be a little bit tricky or interesting. Let's just place down some blocks and see what happens. Right, that's usually a good way to do things. So somewhere around here, we're going to need our lifter. I've got a feeling that's going to make things a bit awkward. Anyway, let's see what happens. So it's going to send through one block, then the second, and the third block is going to leave it stuck. That is no problem at all. I've also just remembered something here. If we want to get a good score on this level, which is something I'm not terribly fussed about, um, we should realise that we only need to place these every so often. I think we just need gaps of two in between now, right? That looks about okay. Gap of two. Okay, and then it'll put it onto there. Um, actually, let's stop that because we'll probably also need one there. Right, let's see what happens this time. Top block goes in, second. That's really efficient. And then the next one comes along. And we've used a minimal amount of blocks, which is really good. Okay, so I'm very happy with that. That looks like it's doing what we want it to do. So then over on this side, the blocks are just dropping down, and it looks like they're like stuck in the teleporter, perhaps. They might get backed up in there. That could be useful later on. Uh, but as of right now, we need to assemble them in a way that means we can weld them all together. And that might be relatively easy, because there's a drop here. Okay, but we also need to drop it onto a conveyor, or at least a block. So this means we need it to go higher up first. So if we put a lifter down immediately, um, then we're going to need some blocks, like this, and then a conveyor, that type of conveyor. Nope, I don't want to play, I want it to rotate. I will often press the wrong buttons when playing this game, that's a disclaimer. <laughs> if that kind of stuff annoys you, then you're going to see it a lot. Okay, so what we want is going to be a little bit tricky to get because the blocks are first of all going to fall down here. Actually, this thing is going to sort of act in a sticky manner, isn't it? It's going to hold the blocks up there. So, let's say we have one block falls down, two blocks falls down, then you've got one here. It's going to push it over. One, two, three. Okay, so this is doable, but when we get one at the end, that's the last place a block's going to be, they all need to be welded together and that one needs to have a sensor saying, okay, a block's in now, we're going to activate something. Okay, and because they fall down here, it means our first conveyor will be over here. I'm really confident that this would work. Um, when we get over here, though, we need it to be a block higher. Maybe what we should do is build all of this just one block higher. And that will make things a little bit easier. So the game just crashed on me, and I don't think I ever remember this game crashing. Uh, this is on the other side. Have we actually listened to this one? I don't think we have. 
Um, I just wanted to mention, I think when we did the series last, I had different monitors, so now we're playing at 1080, and also had different hardware, I got a new graphics card, so something there might have caused an issue. Anyway, let's talk to Dave. Sorry to put you in such a remote location. It's the same message as before. Sure you can just access it from either side. <laughs> Okay, we need this block called the pusher, and we're going to put it over here, pointing in that direction, and we need to connect that to this thing, and while we do that, I also want to attach it to this thing up here. I think we could use less blocks if we took away, let's see, um, actually if we reposition this slightly, I could definitely make it less. Nope, that is the wrong block. Uh, let's go. Let's go back to square one here. And just redo all of that. Okay, good stuff. So now everything here is connected to that block. So if this is connected to the ground, which we can do by putting a block there, it means we don't need any of these blocks, and that's definitely less used overall. Anyway, um, what's going to happen is the blocks are going to come up here. They're going to drop down here. The first row is going to be made a solid group. I am not sure actually this works now. In my mind it did at first. We need the last row to be a solid group to push forward any of the ones in front of it that won't be. So that means we need a welding here. If this block isn't welded it's going to go off on its own. Uh, which then I think means we also don't need that one. So there might be a more efficient way to do this setup with less welders. Uh, we wouldn't need that block there either. And uh, and yeah, that's what I've come up with though. So moment of truth, let's do this. It might now be solved. It rarely is. And there you go, straight away something wrong. So let's stop that. Uh, this isn't sticky then. If you've got a block here, it'll pull it along. So that's interesting um, to know. You kind of expect that to be, or at least I did expect it to be sticky. Okay, so my mistake... Big time my mistake. That's not filling up the way I intended it to because I've raised this up one block too high. And for a moment there I thought, wait a minute, this could actually work. And I think it could because... Okay, so what I was intending to do, this would work, let's say, if everything was one block lower. But now that I've seen it work like that, it gets pushed along, it gets welded. Um, it's going to get welded to the one behind it so we wouldn't need that nor would we need any of this or the pusher I think I could be mad and completely wrong uh, let's make sure this is attached to something we wouldn't need the pusher that means we wouldn't need um, this block but we would need that one and then this thing needs to be attached to the floor that might actually do it <laughs> which is cool because I accidentally discovered a better way to do it then Right, that's now a group of six, and now it's a group of nine, and the next one pushes it all the way over. Excellent! Oh, almost excellent. Well, the next one will push it in, but we'll just add an extra conveyor for that. Right, so we did it, um, but it turned out to be a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be. That's really cool. Yes, I guess I kind of forgot on that once... Well, actually, I made this one too high, but once... You know, you've welded it, the next thing can push the whole thing along, and that's the key to doing it here. So let's see what our score is. We've got three more to send through. Bam, that's the last one. And our score is pretty good, especially on the block score. We're in the highest tier right here. May even be possible to trim one or two blocks, but I'm not going to do that. I'm happy with the result. Let's continue back to the barracks. And... Uh and do another puzzle. So we didn't unlock any new blocks. We've got another teleporter experiment to do. So we know what to expect to some degree. Dave's here. Uh, looks like we've got two types of block. Okay, and this is a delivery and that's where we send things to. I've got a feeling there's going to be something to paint the block on the other side. No! Um, okay, so we just got a... Oh, I see! I see. Do you see it? Let's also fly around and see if there's any Easter eggs while you think about that. I don't think there's going to be any Easter eggs in these levels. Uh, anyway, so we got to send... There goes my phone. Red over to the other side and white from that side over to this one. So it's going to be a case of managing the flow of items, I think. 
Anyway, we know that they're going to come out over here. Uh, also, we've got to reassemble them as well, is another point. So let's just focus on getting them through. They're going to come through as one piece, which means every two. So I didn't need to do it like that. Um, and then over here... Ah, you see, we've got to be careful because if we put this thing right here, when one's come through the other side, actually they'll get they'll get like picked up and then we can extract them from this side and send them over here. Like, what if I put an upside down one here? Let's see what happens. Like, does it is it gonna take Oh, I just realized that we need another conveyor. Bam. Are you gonna take any of these blocks off? Nope, gets teleported. Right, but here's a problem. The red wants to keep coming through. And they're going to come through at the same rate on the other side. Look at this. They're coming out basically way too fast for us to deal with. Hmm, I don't know what to make of this. Okay, so in the bottom right of the screen, you'll see something called input rate. Now, we've seen this before in the game. And I wasn't sure if the idea was to play it at zero and then you can mess around with the input rate if you want to make uh, the game a little bit more challenging or interesting uh, but this is the first time where it feels like it's part of solving the puzzle is to calibrate that input rate because this comes in so fast so if I do this and turn it down to minus 10 then you'll see there's going to be a big old gap in between each thing coming through which is cool and um, that also made me aware though that this is a, a very inefficient way of doing things over here so what we're actually going to do is stop that nonsense and we're going to take this back one block we're going to put our lifter over here and then we want to have I think a conveyor sort of sussed out what would make this work uh, no wrong button there we go so it's going to bring it up but will it will it pull along the next block yes it'll keep it all there so that's a very fast and efficient way for it to come through so if we set up the same thing on the other side but add a little bit of a delay unless they're there might already be a delay, you know, the white one on the other side might not send out the items at the exact same side, so uh, time even. So let's figure that one out next. Let's head over here. Is this one like directly in line with it? Look at that, it's directly in line. Okay, let's find out. Okay, it turns out if we send them in at the same time, um, they work just fine. So check it out, the red ones come out. Notice how that red block gets knocked over by one. That doesn't happen on the other side. So what I want to do is just see if uh, an extra thing here will put it on the right spot. Yeah, that seems to work just fine. So if we go through to this side, you'll see um, that it happens slightly differently over here. So the next question is the input rate. So let's stop that. Let's put this all the way back up to zero and just see what happens with it on zero. So those go through. Right, that's absolutely fine. So we can run it at the normal input rate. Okay, so problem solved. And now we've got to build the next part of this, which I think is going to be relatively simple, right? The puzzle here was just figuring out that you can actually just send them sort of straight in and everything will be fine. So if I miss something, that is totally plausible. But I think it's as simple as this, because when the blocks come around the corner, um, they get welded. So then there's two. And then they you know, get pushed along, welded into three, and then as three they get pulled along all the way up to here. Now to reduce the block score, you can see that I've left a gap there. And I think what we need to do is basically put the welding bit as close to this end as we can um, so that we can extend it over there with less blocks. So um, let's, let's do this. Let's check it out. Speed the first bit up. So let's watch the red blocks come through. There you go, they're now a group of three, and off they go. So we're going to look on this side and see that the same thing is happening over here. That's absolutely fantastic. That, I think, means we have... Oh, actually, we made a little bit of a mistake there. We want that to go right up to the edge, don't we? Okay, so then we'll go through to the other side. Is that right? Yes, that is right. Because, like these things, these are conveyors. These ones aren't. These are just accepting the items, so you need to have... Uh, oops, <laughs> one right there. I often press like F or R instead of E when I go to rotate. Anyway, we can just speed this up now because um, we know that it works. And that's fantastic. A really good puzzle. Although, like I said, it felt like the puzzle was just figuring out um, that that thing, you know, gives you the blocks in the way, or the best way possible, I guess. Doesn't make it difficult. 
Um, so that's our third puzzle done this video and uh, that's actually going to be it for this one so if you enjoyed it as always leave a like thank you for the support leave a comment down below i do want to hear your thoughts on infinity infinity factory if i can say it correctly coming back i have missed this game it's a lot of fun and i'm looking forward to the rest of the puzzles many of you told me they're going to be a lot harder i'm going to guess these first ones are probably not uh, but puzzle number four or teleport or experiment number four will be in the next one so that's it from me thank you for watching and i'll catch you next time Bye bye